I'm recording. Are you recording? We're recording. Hi, guys. Welcome to our podcast. Welcome to our podcast. How come no one plays the recording anymore? That's not what it's called. I remember in third grade, they got us that's that's not what it's called. You like put your mouth on these, that's and so it'll weird. make beautiful music for your parents. For your parents to want to kill you. Remember when? Did you have to do that? Did you have to learn the recording for a anything i don't know anything about it seems like there would be other easier instruments mm-hmm. maybe it was just the mm. cheapest thing to manufacture for the kit probably they were all plastic and just full of toxins welcome to our podcast i'm your host zoya Th- Th- falzone yes. elizabeth falzone i was gonna say yeah. it uh and this is my lovely wife zoya <laughs> and this is my lovely wife michael thank you and meet us on patreon.com which is a virtual tipping and rewards website basically you guys keep this show on the air you know how it comes through your live tv every day you guys it's the power of you a lot of people here's some of them yeah uh our ten dollar (laughs) group which we're very appreciative of gets a shout out on the podcast and it sounds a little something like this excuse me while i hit the lights uh matthew j palka uh, Alexander Guarva, uh, Michael Cavagile, uh, Walter Sloan, Austin Sorosti, <laughs> Nick Mags, Wandering G Bear, Goose Maynard, Joel Vielma, Helen Ford, Justine Johnson, They're bad, bad. Yeah. Nestor De Leon the Third, Katie A, Superfloss, and Janisha Tutton. You guys, thanks so much for being a Patreon. We really, really appreciate it. We appreciate not just you, but all of you. Thank you for listening. Not just you, but all of you. But all of you. All of us. All of them. To all of you. And right back at you. I was on Reddit Ew. this morning. I can't hear this. Um, maybe I'm just putting the wrong one in. That's no. okay. Don't even worry. I about don't it. think so. I just think it's I need to. It's not a super. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I know, because I'm awesome. I was on Reddit this morning, not uh, to brag. Uh, I read. Right. I read the front page of the internet. Read it. And I saw a, uh, first of all, happy day after Royal Rumble Day. Happy day. I picked number eight going into the Royal Rumble, which means I have to get a tattoo corresponding with the eighth person that came into a Royal Rumble, unless, of course, they won, which, of course, they didn't. Mm. And it was Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe. And I have three basic options I can get for a tattoo. And and stay tuned for the video that came out right before this to figure out what I did. Yep. So by the time you're watching this, you already know. But by the time you're listening to this, you may also already know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also not going to give it away right now for some reason. Okay. Don't give it away. Um, so I was on Reddit. Uh-huh. And there was this tweet that did pretty well. And it was from a guy who I should have written down his name, but I did not. But he's already getting enough recognition because he's on the front page of Reddit right now. Okay. He's doing okay. Uh-huh. He's not going to suffer because You don't I remember his name. Yeah. Yeah. Any who's there? Okay. Uh, he said, people who work in customer service should be um, able to fight one person a, a day. I think that's think fair. That? I think people in customer service get shit on uh-huh. big time. People in customs or service. Well, in customs, they just tell you how to live your life. Uh-huh. And you don't have a choice. Take out your bags and put your bags on the table. You just uh-huh. have a bag full What's of bags this? and they're questioning you about it. Going to jail. (laughs) Do you think across the board? Because the thing that I think uh, I'm trying to see two sides to Uh it. uh Okay. Diplomatic. Yeah. Sometimes you're in need of customer service Mm -hmm. and that person is a ass basket Mm -hmm. and that's no good. Right. But then other times Mm -hmm. the ass baskets are the ones onto the customer service. Right. I do stand firm in my belief that you should not be able to eat at a restaurant. Like there should be a punch card (sighs) and you're only allowed to eat at restaurants five times before you have to work at one. Right. Like you can get them all dead when you were a kid. Yeah. And then they go zop. Yeah. Okay. You got four more times at Olive Garden. Live Arden. Arden. 
There's the Olive Garden by us, and the O is burnt out, so it looks like Live Arden. Live Arden. Um, but I do believe that. And I'm running for president in 2014. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's my promise. I, I feel like uh, customer service should be able to fight people, yeah. at least one. Mm-hmm. I, I agree with that very much so. I think that... Um, <laughs> I think people may have wanted to fight with me because I've been the ass basket on the other end of the phone several times. Yeah. Can't lie. When you used to, would you consider frustrated? And sometimes you just need to get your way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you give me any good examples or no? Um, Not any that I can think of off the top of my head right now. It's years of experience. Yeah, it's, it's being years of I typically try to start off really nice, but if the if the customer service is being an ass basket, yeah, that's when I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh uh oh oh no 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 That's what I'm saying. What if you get so lowest common denominator of person is the person who's mean to customer service with no need yeah. to be mean to them. Well, yeah. But those people also get jobs. Once in a while in right. customer service. Because they're not going into an interview acting like an asshole. Right. But what I'm saying is, do the bad customer service people still get the right to fight? No, no they don't. It's everyone. This is a quality. It's everyone or, or no one. No, but you should be able to, in in turn, you should be able to fight a customer service person that's being an asshole. So Am here's right? what I think. Everyone... Everyone right. with a job mm-hmm. should be able to fight anyone else with a job <laughs> one a day. I don't know. I don't know that that's fair. I think that would even it out. Yeah, I guess so. So pick a person at random to fight today and ask them if they have a job. Right. You're probably going to want to stay away from L.A. County. Right. Uh, go to a place where people have jobs mm-hmm. and throw down. Throw down. Throw hands. <laughs> Throwing some hams at each other. Forgot to start this, by the way. Well, we're uh, we're seven twenty five in. Seven twenty five okay. in. Let's do some quick math. Okay. That's probably right. Right on. I just gave it a spin. Here's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Talk to me. That was actually the second thing. Oh, there was another dude on Reddit who he said uh, he uploaded a picture, and it was just of all this Sony stuff. It was uh like a PlayStation and Mad Games and a controller and a hat probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he said, I got hit with a golf ball. And uh, the guy who hit me was like a Sony executive. Okay. And then he sent me all this shit. That's pretty sweet. It It is pretty sweet, but also that dude had to get hit with a golf ball. There's no speed that a golf ball is going at where it, it feels nice. Have Unless I ever told you the story about... Albert getting hit with a golf ball. There we go. This is why we do it. Okay. So we used to have a friend that worked at the Howard Johnson's in Milford, Connecticut. Humble brag. And there was a mini golf course there. There sure was. I could tell you a little fun fact about that golf course. Uh, One, went on a date with a heroin addict there. Awesome. Two, all of the animals Mm. there had their private parts destroyed. Oh, yeah. (laughs) yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Totally. (laughs) Uh, Please continue. And we thought it would be really fun if we would go and we w- we would go and hang out with Joe all the time, Joey, and uh, we would <laughs> we would play all the time, right? And golf. one day, yes, one day, Eb and his brother Albert decided that they were going to play, and Albert was in the way, and Eb hummed the ball. Throwing? Right at his no, he hit it with the freaking with the golf. Yeah, fucking, call it a mallet. Yeah, let's call it a uh, a thing. It's called know. a club, but the we can middle, call it whatever. The middle, the middle club, middle. Sure. What the hell's wrong with me today? The, yeah, Malcolm in the middle. Yes, and uh, the club. He hit it with the club. He hit the ball with the club, <laughs> and the fucking ball hit Albert <laughs> inches away from his manlyhood. Word. But the bruise that ensued immediately, I'm not even joking. It was the size of a basketball. Oh, shit. It was purple 
immediately. That's some good brother on brother violence. He had, yeah, right? I don't think it, I don't think, because Evie's not like that, but was not like that. Yeah. But, woo wee. That's crazy, man. Yeah. If you got hit in the Stondines, it's over. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> It was like right there, but the bruise on that leg, lasted on, on on his in like inner thigh, like yeah. outside to inner thigh. Dude, if there if there's a golf ball connection with a testy ball, <laughs> oh my god, that's a big nor. In months, months, months. That's no good. Yeah, it was bad. Well, thank God he's still alive. Yeah. Well, he almost lost his leg. Um, I sent you a couple questions. Yeah, I got them. One is a roommate based question. Okay. One is a, a guy's w- wife doesn't know he's dating his wife what? or something. Hang on. You so read it. <laughs> Emily at the Valley Kiddos says, I have a terrible roommate, like doesn't do her laundry or dishes and hasn't showered in weeks bad. Roger. How do I deal with this nasty, <laughs> with this nasty for three more months? Nasty what? How do I deal with this nasty for three months? <laughs> <laughs> he called her a nasty. Yeah, she called her a nasty. Um, How do I deal with this nasty? Yeah. Why doesn't your roommate shower? I used to not shower. I guess it's relatively easy. That's gross. I, I have to shower like every other day. Yeah, like as an I adult, you got adult like, funk on you. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, Get that adult funk off my of My hair is you. greasy right now. That's why it's up and like crazy looking uh, insane right my now. My hair is perfect. I didn't mean to sit across from you and make your head feel You're bad. very greasy too right Thank now. Thank you so much. <laughs> we're just a greasy couple right now. So we're maybe not the best people to take advice from. Um, Honestly, uh, I don't know. Um, I would start looking for a new place and make sure that she's aware that you guys are not living together. Spend all your time out of your apartment looking for a new different apartment. Just make sure you clean up after yourself. I would start like putting like her dishes and stuff like in a bag and leaving it like at the foot of her bed. Yeah. Put all of her dirty stuff, dirtiest stuff on her mouth when she sleeps. No. Like if she it, like eats peanut butter three weeks ago and then leaves the spoon in the sink, mm-hmm. drape the spoon on her mouth when she's sleeping. <laughs> Does she sleep with her mouth open? Just put the spoon, lay it Just into her mouth. Teeter it, <laughs> teeter it on her nose. So when she blows, like, when it, like yeah. it in and out, it like bounces up and down. Real gross. Yeah. 100% gross. I hope that was also helpful. Also choking hazard. So you're going to want to be aware of that. Yeah. Maybe put like a, a mesh cloth or something to like catch it so it doesn't go down her throat. Anyway, uh, Troy R. Ho- I hope that was uh, helpful a little bit. We'll see. Troy R. says. What kinds of things do you do to keep your creative energy flowing? What fills your gas tank? Yeah, p- petrol. Not uh non-leaded, non unleaded. Natural Not unleaded. Regular unleaded. Full service. Ding. I do super. <laughs> what? I, st- I, d- I do uh the 89 option. Octane. Mm. 89 octane. Option. octane. Um I don't know. I like making stuff. Yeah. That helps yeah. when you want to make things. Also, watching things helps. Yeah, I think that's what it is for me mostly, too, is, you know, watching stuff mm-hmm. and feeling like somebody else's creativity and, like, wanting to try it and put your own twist on things. That's what I'm, That's exactly what they talk about in that book, uh, The Creative Curve. Mm-hmm. That I'm reading for a second time. Didn't totally get it the first time. Uh-huh. Here we go round two. Round two. Sometimes it takes people who are in a slower reading level in grade school to catch up to how normal people read <laughs> books. You got to read them three or four times. <laughs> One, That's two, the reason three, I don't want to read Harold Patres because so many thicknesses. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have to read it three or four times to know all about the characters. Nervous White. And the other ones. Yeah. Can we just talk about what this dog is doing right now? She came out from, just turn around. She came out from the hallway and then sat herself right <laughs> right there, <laughs> right in front. Can we see that? And just, I don't know, can you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. Right here. <laughs> A bad dog. She knows she can't go on the couch, but she does like 
looking at it because she goes on it when we're not here. So she's like, wait until all of you leave and forget to put up the couch protectors. Dude. Ooh, I'm going to lounge out so good. Do you see this spot? That's my spot when you're not here. <laughs> she's looking at, this is exact. see where I'm putting my mouth? Yeah. This is exactly where I'm going to sit when you bounce out. She's just a vanilla dog just hanging out. Um, um, that's a Roger. So, yeah. So, like, just watching other things, other people's stuff, and trying to find some kind of... Oh, in the creative group, yeah, yeah. they talk about um, where the f- um, where familiar meets nuanced. Like, people like familiar things because it makes them comfortable, but then they like nuanced takes on familiar things. Right. So it's like you watch something, you watch a thousand episodes of something, and then you make something that's kind of like that something, but different. Yeah. And that's one of the many steps in creating something. Yeah, it's... Creative curve. For example, the different thing about our podcast, as compared to all the other podcasts, is we speak in a, a sleepy timber. Oh, that's right. Right. Somebody, Somebody told us. Go ahead. No, you tell them. On the com in the comment section that we that this podcast puts them to sleep because we speak like this, but this is our natural voice. This is how we speak. <laughs> so I'm interested to know if I put other people to sleep. I mean, I talk to people for a living, so I've never had anybody fall asleep unless they were just ultra relaxed. You yawn you know? when I talk to you all the time, which makes me nervous about my voice. I didn't yawn today. Not today. <laughs> We're also not done yet. Hmm. Read the next Uh, question. Justine Johnson says, I'm the oldest of three siblings who all live in the same area. (laughs) We tend to give birthday cards as a group, and the next family gathering is in two weeks. In the past, I am the only one who has sprung for the cards. Magic the family gathering. How do I tell my sibs that they have to buy the next round without... Without my help. Your sibs. That's when you walk around in a leash <coughs> in that movie. No. You have Her a contract. Siblings. How do I oh, tell? Siblings. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> she writes a card you to just all of her sibs. It weird. That's okay. Um, Nuanced. Like most of the episodes you're familiar with aren't. Just weird. tell them. <laughs> yeah. And this true. one is a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, true. That's why this one's going to take off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if this episode gets more views than the last one, that joke is the reason why. Um, yeah, I would just let your siblings know, like, listen, I'm you guys. You guys have to buy it. Some I'm not people are it. card people, and some people are not card people. Yeah. Um, the and both of those people are okay because there's there's pros and cons to both. Mm-hmm. Like my mom explained it to me like this: she likes to get cards. Yeah. So now I know that she's the type of person who likes to get cards. So if I buy a card for her, even though I'm not a card person, it doesn't matter about me because it's not for me. It's right. about the audience. Right. Right. So it's important to get my mom a card. That being said, don't remember the last time I got her a card. I do. I do. And I got in trouble for it. <laughs> so what you could do, the people, what I'm trying to say is the people who aren't card people right. need to know that. Um, outwardly to people who like getting cards, you seem like more of a piece of shit. Yeah. So just explain that yeah. to them. Be like, it has nothing to do with me. I'm the person who gets the, I'm the glue, baby, baby, girl. Ooh, baby, baby. But you Honestly, guys, there's no th- outward yeah. showing of love from you guys. For so you all dicks. of us, even for me and my siblings, it's just kind of like, hey, who's getting the card? All right, we <coughs> assign like certain jobs, you know. Uh, my brother had a job to get my mom a computer for her birthday. He had to do all of the, all of the, the searching and whatever. And then he let us know what it was. We just kind of like assign each other jobs. I mean, and there's five of us, so it's always going to get done. Be like, I'm sorry, I'm out. I can't, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I do it all the time. Yeah. Just be honest with them. Not everyone well, has 400 siblings. They're your siblings though. Who cares? Yeah. Make them do it though. Like what the hell? Madeline over yeah. here. Uh, David Bono uh, at uh, DBO Pro says, I'm opening a small record pop vinyl store in Alabama. Hell yeah. What should it be named? Okay, Zoe. Got any good ad records? Uh, uh, Got any good ad reads? (laughs) Uh, So here's what we're doing today, Zoe. 
Because this is a loyal listener of the podcast starting their own business. Good for you, by the way. Yeah. Taking life by the ball testes. I like by the it. Golf balls. Call from back. before. Yeah, I get it. I get it. And then uh, putting a little bit of your life out there, life on the line. I think the very least you could do, Zoe, mm-hmm. as the, the queen and producer of this podcast, okay. is to name the store and do the first grand opening ad read for the store. Okay. While you're thinking of this, I'll say that we got some shows coming up in L.A. Tons of stand-up shows, doing stand-up all the time. MikeFalzone.com. I'm going to be, by the time you're watching this, there's a show tonight, by the way. Thank you so much. Uh, Next month, on the 17th, I'll be in Boston with Elliot Morgan at Laugh Boston. Go ahead and get tickets for that. The week afterwards, I'll be in fucking Portland, I think, on the... What is it, 24th, 25th, or 23rd, 24th? 23rd, 24th. I think it's Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Friends and friends in fucking Portland. Are you horny about that or no? Leave your answer in the comments below. I'm horny. Thank you. About it. About that. You got to be specific. About that. Um, there are tickets for that on MikeFalzone.com. So I'll be at uh, Becky with the Good Jokes on Saturday. And I'll uh, friends and friends crowd work show. Me, Andrew Delman, Elliot Morgan. Ali Makovsky are going to be at uh, the Siren Theater. Tickets on MikeFalzone.com. If you don't know who Ali Makovsky is, she's on the she's very, very Friends funny. and Friends show all the time in L.A. Incredibly funny. She's starting to go around. Uh, Joe Rogan has noticed uh, Ali's talent, and he brings her on shows all the time. So even if you don't believe us, which why wouldn't you believe us? Believe Joe Rogan. Allie's very funny. She is very, very funny. Yeah, I like her. I've All always right. liked her. So I've got three different uh, three different things that I think I, I would like. Well. Uh, so we got uh, Bono vi- Vinyl Alabama okay. as one. Alabono. Is that a one? No, it's not Alabono. What's number two? Uh, record slash pop Bono vi- Vinyl. Papa Bono Vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good pop up. <laughs> Pop up Bono, Bono. You know when you're in Bono gym pop class, vinyl and is the last one. What is that? Bono pop vol- vinyl. Are you familiar Bono. with what it sounds like you're saying when you say Bono pop? Bono pop. Popping a Bono in the back seat of your car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the one then. Bono pop. Sure. Grand opening. Okay. This one in the podcast. Floor is yours, Zoe. <laughs> You named it. Are you looking for some new vinyl records? Have you been missing out on the latest new pop songs? This person has an accent as well. They always do. (laughs) Well, you're in luck. Because now, open, open now, grand opening, (laughs) is Bono Pop (laughs) Vot. Now open, grand opening this weekend. This weekend only is a grand opening of Bono Pop Vinyl. Come on down. We got some deals and wheels. Come on down and get some new pop songs that you've been missing out on. Don't forget, Bono Pop Vinyl. Tell your friends. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? <laughs> I like. How do they possibly have room for vinyl and wheels? Hey, man, you never know. You Thank never you know. so much. You guys, thanks so much for, for listening. listening. <laughs> podcast don't forget to go visit bono pop this weekend go visit grand bono opening. pop before bono. they're even open on their grand opening weekend this weekend only in this weekend this weekend good Coming you just out. saved that person thousands of dollars on a radio app, you're welcome you're welcome and i can do voiceovers for anybody that needs them that's true you guys, thanks so much for listening. Mike's got a bunch of shows coming up. You can catch that on MikeFalzone.com. We'll see you soon in Boston. And I'm going to try. I'm coming out to, to Portland, too, because my sister's going to drive down. Nice. Good yeah. shit. So I'm going to get flights out uh, today. Nice. I'm, um, glad you're com- I'm glad both of you guys are coming. Yeah, me too. My um, brother-in-law is going, too. <laughs> oh, dope, man. Yeah. You it's going to be a fun time. Long-time family friend listener uh, of our podcast, Tim Hahn. Roger. Mm-hmm. Um, I was going to say it? something else I forgot what I was going to say Did you love me? Oh, uh, I was going to say I love you Yeah Obvious Okay And uh, Patreon.com mm-hmm. 
if you want to help us out on Patreon. And also, if you're watching the video, goddamn like and subscribe and hit the goddamn bell. Yeah, do Because that's what bell. you have to do. Ring, ring. Or else they oh. won't tell you. And we also have shirts for sale. Welcome to our podcast. Uh, shirts at WTOP.clothing. Uh, the link is always in the bio. So We're always looking to make new stuff. So if you have a t-shirt suggestion, let us know. Yeah. We should start making t-shirts for all these businesses, man. Oh, my God. Alright everyone. Okay. You guys thanks so much. Dot com. Bye.